welcome to all of you on the channel maths with munir i hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos we have started the topic of derivative and in my previous video we have talked about and we have learned how to apply the power rule on a function in order to calculate its derivative and we have also learned that how to apply the product rule as well so what we are going to do now today we will learn about how to apply power rule product rule and quotient rule so i am going to take one example in which i will explain in detail that if somewhere we have a function of this type then how can we apply the power rule product rule and the quotient rule all together so let's begin with so the function that we have now is y is equals to x square root of a plus x over a minus x so first of all what we need to do first of all we we have to have a very careful look on this function and we have to realize that over here x is another one term and a plus x over a minus x is with square root is another term so you can say that this x is basically your f of x and this is your g of x so basically we are having two terms multiplying together so obviously the product rule will come so in order to calculate the derivative of such type of functions what we will do once we take the derivative on both side this y will become y prime and d by dx of x into a plus x over a minus x power 1 by 2 now like i said this is your f of x and this is your g of x they both are multiplying together so it means that first of all we have to apply the product rule so I, we will keep x as a constant and we will take the derivative of a plus x over a minus x 1 by 2 plus now we will keep this term as a constant a plus x over a minus x 1 by 2 and we will take the derivative of the first term okay now x once you take the derivative of this term you can see clearly first of all there is a power of 1 over 2 so it means that first we are going to apply the power rule on this function so power rule says power will come first and then you will subtract 1 from the power once you subtract 1 from the power 1 over 2 minus 1 and if, uh, if you take the LCM it will give you minus 1 over 2 please do not forget that most of the students are making these mistakes over and over again that they are applying the power rule over here on this type of function and then they are leaving please don't forget that the power rule says that once you apply the power rule then you have to take the derivative of the term without the power so we are going to ignore the power because we have already applied the power rule and then we will also take the derivative of a plus x over a minus x so now we are done with this we will move forward plus a plus x over a minus x power 1 over 2 and the derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 and how its derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 I have already explained that in my previous video so now x 1 over 2 okay over here we have minus 1 over 2 if I try to shift the numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator this minus 1 over 2 will become actually plus 1 over 2 so I can write it as a minus x over a plus x power 1 over 2 okay now you see here a plus x over a minus x we are having the quotient quotient or the fraction in which we both in numerator and denominator we are having the x so what we are going to do now we will apply the quotient rule over here so what does the quotient rule says quotient rule says that in denominator you will write the term with square and then the same term over here you will take the derivative of numerator which is a plus x minus numerator then we are done with the de derivative of numerator and now we will take the derivative of denominator a minus x i am going to write over here the quotient rule for you first so that you could able to know that how we are actually applying 
so if let's suppose that y is basically the function of f of x over g of x okay in numerator and denominator we are having both x and once we are calculating the derivative so what we will do we will write g of x as a square and then we will write g of x derivative of f of x minus f of x and then the derivative of denominator which was your g of x so this is how basically we we apply the question true uh, quotient rule okay now this term will come as it is so we will write a plus x over a minus x over 1 over 2 so what next we will write x dot 1 over 2 we can break this 1 over 2 a minus x power 1 over 2 over a plus x power 1 over 2 and then we will take the derivative over here a minus x once you take the derivative of a it will be 0 because a is constant over here so derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 minus a plus x now the derivative of a with respect to x is again will be 0 and then the derivative of x with respect to x is going to give you 1 so don't forget that x have a minus sign over here so it would become minus 1 over a minus x square the same term you will write it as it is a plus x over a minus x with power 1 over 2 okay since we don't have my space so what i am going to do now i am erasing this portion so that we could complete our solution okay so you will write it as x into a minus x power 1 over 2 and then we have over 2 into a plus x power 1 over 2 bracket we will simplify this so once you multiply 1 with this bracket it will give you a minus x and then minus into minus will be become plus and a plus x over a minus x square and then we can break it this term into separate as well we will break the power which was 1 over 2 into denominator and in denominator as well okay so this minus x will cancel with this x so we got a plus a which is actually 2a So x into a minus x power 1 over 2 we got 2a and then it since both the bo this is one fraction this is another fraction once two fractions are multiplying together you will multiply denominator with denominator that's what we did and denominator with denominator so 2 into a plus x into a minus x square plus a plus x power 1 over 2 over a minus x power 1 over 2 all right now this two with cancel with this two we got a times x over now you see okay this was 1 over 2 thanks okay this is 1 over 2 now a minus x power 1 over 2 and we have over here a minus x squared so what we are going to do now we obviously we know that 2 is bigger term and 1 over 2 is a smaller term so we are going to shift that denominator term into the denominator and the power of 1 over 2 will become minus so eventually you can write it as a plus x power 1 over 2 as it is and a minus x here is 2 so once this 1 over 2 will come down the sign of 1 over 2 will become minus 1 over 2 and if you take the LCM of 2 into minus 1 over 2 it will give you 3 over 2 so it means that you will write over here 3 over 2 plus 
a plus x power 1 over 2 over a minus x power 1 over 2. Okay. Now, we will take the LCM over here and we will write it as so a plus x we have over here we do not have over here it means that a plus x power 1 over 2 will be will be your LCM and along with it a minus x power 3 over 2 and over here we have 1 over 2. So, obviously the bigger term will always come into the LCM. So, we will write it as a minus x power 3 over 2. So, this term in on the numerator will come as it is and then if you look at these two terms once you take the LC once you uh, solve them with the help of long division we do not have a plus x term over here. So, it means that this term will multiply over here a plus x power 1 over 2 and over here a minus x power 3 over 2 and over here we have a minus x 1 over 2. So, we will write a minus x 1. Why 1? Because LCM of 1 and 1 over 2 will actually give you 3 over 2 and then the same term as it is a plus x 1 over 2. So, what we did once we divide this this term with this term whatever quotient come we multiply that quotient with with this term ok. Now, a x plus a plus x 1 over 2 into a plus x 1 over 2 it would be a plus x. Once you multiply them it would become a plus x and a minus x over a plus x 1 over 2 a minus x 3 over 2. I hope you do know that how a plus x power 1 over 2 a plus x power 1 over 2 it is becoming a plus x. Obviously, once you multiply the two terms and if the bases are same then the power will be add together. So, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is going to give you actually 1. So, that is how we wrote it. Now, if you look at the numerator carefully you will realize that this term a plus x into a minus x is basically the formula for a square minus uh, x square. Since we know that a, pl a plus b into into a plus b into a minus b is going to give you a square minus b square. So, we can write it as a square minus x square over a plus x 1 over 2 into a minus x power 3 over 2. So, this is how basically we apply the product rule, the power rule and the quotient, quotient rule all together. The only tricky part over here was that once we solve, once we apply, um, I erase the question it was I think y is equals to x into square root of a plus x over a minus x. The only trick part was that if you have term like x power n and you are taking the derivative of that. Please do not forget once you are done with the power rule which is n minus I should write d by dx over here. So, once you are done with the power rule please do not forget to take the derivative without power. So, this is how you are going to get it. So, most of the this is the area where most of the students are making mistakes over and over again. So, I hope that this video is very helpful for you. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this as much as you can so that it could reach to maximum student.